he's using the consonants as more of a percussive nature to kind of have that kind of drum like the your alligator to you. What's up? I am Jaren back with another voice analysis because y'all have been giving me more things to analyze in these comments and I'm going to try to do them y'all. I'm going to try my best. It's a lot of songs analyzed but I'm going to do the next section of songs in this video y'all so let's get into it. Here is my voice analysis of Alligator Tears, My Rose, and Flamenco. like a vocal fry onset. Oh dear, I die in the city. These slides, these glissandi, these vocal throws are very intentional, but the way the layering sounds or like the stacking sounds, it almost sounds like they're talking in each other, if that makes sense. Kind of how the slides kind of interchange very subtly. They kind of interchange a little bit. But all of these slides and pitch changes, these pitch slides and glissandi, whatever you want to call them, they are very intentional. It's a certain color she was looking for with this song. And I like how they kind of subtly interchange with each other harmonically, if I can say it like that. But the slides all go together. High times in the city, I'm in too deep. And the P in deep was cut or it was lessened if you will i'm in too deep yeah with a kind of a vocal fry offset or like a vocal fry throw type of thing going on you and your tears me over and, through. and even the octaves and the open chords and the triads they picked within the slides gives layers to the slides themselves da -da 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 -da. you hear kind of some low stuff too da -da 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 -da. almost like a tenor slash baritone vocal line within the slide so there are specific harmonic directions that these slides are taking it's not just up there and uh uh, these are intentional frequencies that she has chosen that the song has to give the color that they want because they had to pick different pitches within the slides to give the fullness of the layering, if you will, you know? So it wasn't just random slides, it was intentional starts and ends of slides, how they're gonna change with each other, kind of how the harmony kind of swept through within the slides. If you can say it like that, the harmony, I'm gonna say the harmony because this is music. So for the sake of the context we're talking about, I'm gonna call this harmony. Harmony. But yeah, I really like the slides within these harmony parts right here. It's really cool and a really cool texture, a really cool layering, a really cool idea for stacking, if you will. You say move a mountain and I'll throw on my boat. You say stop the river from running, I build a dam or two. And the articulation here is a little bit more relaxed. It's not, I built a dam or two. Mm -mm. It's almost like it's not muffled, but more so just like relaxed, maybe a little frowny. And some more vocal fry slides are in there too. You said change religions, now I stand. Sundays with you Something about those tears of yours How does it feel to be adored? Adored It was almost like a voiced offset throw on adored Instead of adored The D kind of turned into like an N sound Adored Almost like a N sound Like an N with a neutral vowel or an N with a schwa Something like that. I don't in your alligator tears. You and those alligator tears. You 
some more breathy, aspirate, gradual, slower aspirate offsets. You and those alligator tears. Even on the end of tears, the R is kind of like a breathy R, a breathy lessened R with a slight S or a light S. Alligator tears. You. You. So she added a diff song in there, if you will. Instead of you, the word is Y-O-U, you, 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 right? But it's you, you. So she, you. So kind of added a diff song, if you will, or added a neutral vowel at the end of the word you. Instead of you, you. You see how I opened that up a little bit? Something about those tears of yours. How does it feel to be adored? You see how the articulation is so lessened and really relaxed? Sunrise in the morning. So the articulation is not super fricative or it doesn't have a lot of friction or production energy within the production of the consonants, if that makes sense. Sunrise in the morning. And you see even my lips aren't moving as much. Sunrise in the morning. You know, instead of sunrise in the morning, mm -mm. it's way more lax in vowel production and consonant production and everything. It's just way more chill and relaxed. All I need is rain. All the rules get weak. Sweet things need time to grow. Think about leaving. Hell no. Sweet Did you hear that thing about leaving? Think about leaving. If you really listen to the harmony, like I said for this video, the harmony, think about leaving, you hear the interchanging and the changing within the harmony of the slides. Think about leaving. The lower part is something like that. I didn't really hear what exactly they did, but it was something like, think about leaving. But the lead, Beyonce, the lead, if you will, say to the melody, if you will, right? So she kept the melody, but the harmony kind of did a little dissonant move, but it was very subtle. Sweet every ounce of love for my body. like how they use the word yeah to migrate through their harmony. So almost like each vowel sound or each phony within the word yeah had a specific role in that yeah. Instead of yeah, we say yeah, the word is yeah. We say it really quick, yeah. But if you break it down and slow it down, yeah. You hear that whole diff thong going on in there and the glide is beginning, yeah, yeah. But the glide is voiced, yeah, 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 yeah. So they had slides within that word, but as the harmony went down on that chord progress right there, yeah. They went through all the phonemes of the word yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mountain and I'll throw on my boots. You say stop the river from running. I'll build a dam too. You too. With a little tiny upward throw at the end too. You say change religion. Now I spend Sundays with you. Sundays with you. It sounded like a CH there. Sundays with you. Instead of Sundays with you, that's like a TH, but she says CH almost. Sundays with you. So CHU with you. Something about those tears of yours. How does it feel to be a toy? She's using the consonants as more of a percussive nature to kind of have that kind of drum like the your alligator ding. So the D and adored and the glottal on sudden I I adore I adore your alligator I adore So it's a lot more layering and polyphony going on right here. I adore at your alligator tears. I adore, 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 I adore,
Somebody down there, I heard it. <laughs> it was breath and light, but I heard it. Come on, bass. I like how precise those consonants were. Let yourself get you down, let yourself get you down. These consonants have a lot more precision and clarity. Again, it's an intentional move that she wanted to make in terms of making some things more clear than others and kind of adding color within the consonants or within articulation of the singing. Let yourself get you down, not get you down, it's get you down. Let yourself get you down, let yourself get you down, my dear. You know, I like kind of the march-like nature. So many roses, but none to be picked without thorns. So be fond of your flowers, dear. Did you hear those subtle little vocal differences within some of those words? So many. So she went straight to the M consonant on so, so many. But none to be picked with, only none had vibrato right there. So many roses, but none to be picked with. Vibrato placement on certain words. Thorns had a little vocal slide. Thorns to be picked with, but only certain voices did the slide. It wasn't a unanimous or communal slide. It was only certain parts in the harmony that did the slide itself. Thorns to be picked with, and then that flaws, Flaws, dear. She almost kind of made that vowel slash glide slash diphthong a little more dramatic. Flaws, dear. For the vibrato. Flaws, dear. With the vocal slide in there too. Flaws, dear. I like this. La 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 la. Using the L consonant. Very percussive. La 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 love you. And that love you was really low. Love you. Whatever the notes are. But that bass, she's doing a lot of bass stuff. A lot of low singing in this. A lot of like she's really like giving some bass, really deep notes. I just hope you love yourself like that. Some more slides in there with the breathiness. I just hope you love yourself like that. Whatever the words are, whatever the placement is, I forget what exactly what it was, but you see what I'm saying? It's that. I really hope the best for you. You're my love, my sweetie, pal, my baby. You're my heart. Baby, you're my heart. A little like upwards melismatic arpeggio. Baby, you're my heart. Almost like a heart. Kind of like how we do melismas in classical music. Baby, you're my heart. Almost like that. Baby, you're my, yeah. Hi ho. Hi ho. So they went straight to the second part of the diphthong of I. I, and they held it. I. Instead of I hope, mm -mm. I hope. consonants aren't as frigative as other ones, but they're still sharp. They're still clear, but they're quicker in duration, if that makes sense. Set on, right on down. And instead of the T in right, it was right on, right on. Instead of right on, right on. She connected right and on to right on. Yeah, just subtle differences in articulation. Intentional differences in articulation. I'll say intentional modifications in articulation. That's better. I feel like her vowel shape is not as wide or as long or as frowny. It's more so like neutralized middle, but there's a little bit of elongation in it too. There's a little bit of some verticalness, if you will, to the shape of the vowels. A little bit. That's what it sounds like, at least. That's what it sounds like. I hope that you know that once I loved you. I wish that I know you let me wonder. I hope that you know that. Uh, uh, uh. 
See how quick that I hope I hope that you know that da, 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 da. And then the rest of the line is kind of more legato e or kind of more connected But that I hope is super staccato. I hope that you know that it is quick. Yeah I hope that you know that it's da, da, da. And each time they end these two phrases right here on love you and wander the words are modified love ya Not love you No love ya Kind of with the throw at the beginning and at the end. Love ya! A little bit. I'm kind of exaggerating the throw a little bit, but you see what I'm saying. And then, Wanda! So the R is taken off of Wonder, so it's Wanda. Wanda! With a little breathy throw at the end of that line there, too. I hope that God knows that I'm in need of help right now. Ooh. Need? The end is a voice consonant, need, so she can sing to the end and put a throw in there. Need of a right now. You see what I'm saying? So the need had a throw in there too because it connected to the E vowel of need. Need of a right now. And that line before, I hope the guy shows you that G of God. It almost had like a K undertone because it was so quick precise so all of the quickness in the vocal line between the articulation and the notes of the pitches themselves it really makes for some cool textural changes within the vocal lines themselves does that make sense right about now, my soul is reminding me that we're forever young we're forever Whatever that run was, I don't know what it was, but you see how she took some time on forever. She kind of syncopated. We're forever with the vocal throw. We're forever young. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Next. Ooh. Ooh. A little yodel flip right there. Ooh. 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 You see how I'm changing registers, if you will, change the vocal fold mask. Ooh. Ooh, tell my breath until the deed is done. Right. Done. Mm -hmm. Sung to the end consonant. Maybe a little yodel flip in there too, a little register uh, moment in there too as well. Right about now. Butcher that run, but you know what I'm saying? She switched registers again. No, once it's over, and say what you love, so hold me closer. Closer. I like how she did both those lines, and every time she goes up in that arpeggio or in that pattern, if you will, she does that same switch at least the last two, three times here. She did that same switch. Yeah, she opens up that vowel closer instead of over, closer, over. Closer. Realize what you don't know what you got until it's gone. Right about now. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next week so you know when the next video is posted. And give this a thumbs up if you can as well. <laughs> as I will always continue to say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all soon.